Hi everyone. Um, today's video is going to be about my December daily. I decided to store all of it in one of my print brush and dust bags. I get so, we all get so many of these dust bags when we order planners and I decided to start really utilizing them. I keep all of my planners in, the, my unused planners in storage anyways. My granddaughter gave me a stocking sticker today. Um, <laughs> I keep all of my planners in closed up storage so I don't really need the dust bags but I decided to, to store all my December daily stuff in this dust bag. And this video probably looks a little bit different. I decided to come upstairs into my bedroom to film this video. I'm sitting at my makeup table um, and it's a little bit loud downstairs. So I decided to come up here and do this one. So I set up my December daily a little bit and I kind of wanted to show everybody uh, what I did so far because I'm really, really liking it. So as I said in a previous video, I'm using a standard TN. I bought the Simple Stories Make It Merry kit. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Make It Merry kit through Peachy Cheap. And it came with these puffy stickers, this really cute pad of paper. They're all double-sided, which is fantastic. This sticker book that I really enjoy. It has lots of different number stickers in it. Um, these puffy stickers and then tons of, of ephemera. These little sheets are left over from what I've already done for my setup. This, this pouch didn't come with it. This pouch is from, uh, who is this from? I can see her face, I can't picture who it is. Anyway, this is an old, it's a standard TN folder and I decided to just put all of my ephemera in here. So I did show my ephemera in a previous video. So if you want to take a look at that previous video, you can check out all the ephemera that's in it. So here is what I've done so far. I decorated the inner pockets a little tiny bit. I got some stickers from Planner Monkey Co. and I stuck those in here too. I really love, I, I've, I'd never ordered her products before and I gotta tell you, um, I'm really happy with the quality of her products. I ordered two sheets of these matte clear stickers. I also ordered two sheets of these. These will just be in addition to what I'm already using in my December daily and I may use these just in my regular planner. I haven't really decided yet. I did use one of these stickers in my A6 Techo. I added it to, I'm sorry, I have a little bit of a sore throat so if I sound odd or I start coughing, that's why. I added this shopping sticker uh, to my A6 Techo. My daughter-in-law and my daughter and I did some Black Friday shopping yesterday so I added that in there. So I ordered this and these are so pretty I love all this all this black and white I think is so pretty and I ordered these little hamster guys this one and then I'll add this into my December daily of Christmas movies we want to watch the Polar Express is my personal favorite my daughter-in-law thinks it's scary <laughs> she doesn't like the um the the way the characters and stuff look but I love that's my most favorite Christmas movie and Elf comes in second so our granddaughter is only two but I really want to introduce her to some of these Christmas movies so <clears throat> this is what I did so far for my December daily I wrote in here that it's for my granddaughter Luna I added I tucked this little card in here the little poinsettias. I'm not normally a lover of poinsettias, but I gotta tell you, I really love this one. I added a puffy sticker on here. First, what I did was I just trimmed a piece of scrapbooking paper that came in this pad. And like I said, it's all double-sided. I love the little bit of journaling tags in there. It's all double-sided. And I really, I like all the different colors that are in it. As you can see, I'm a black and white fan. 
to add with all these black and white stickers, but I love that. Uh, so I did a big puffy sticker on here. I just double backed the 2022 on here with a, a paper from the pad. This is in the stickers, in that book of stickers. I added in a list of prompts. I may not go according to this. I haven't really decided yet if I'm gonna go according to the prompts. Um, I really like all of these. The last one, I'll raise it up a little bit so you can see it better. But the last one says goals, resolution, prayers for 2022. And I think what I'm gonna do on my day 31, which is here, is, I don't think I know, I'm going to add a photo of my 2023 planner stack. So all I did was go in and I numbered my pages. So I first counted all of my pages and I'm not able to have a a two page layout for all of the days, but it worked out really well that day one, I can have one full page, excuse me, and day 31, I can also have one full page. So I'm totally okay with that. So this is all that I did was I went through and I glued in, I like to use Aileen's Tacky Glue um, it dries super, super fast and you really don't need a lot. A lot of tape runners and stuff, you go through them really, really fast. And I think that they're expensive. So my preference is Aileen's Tacky Glue and it dries flat. There's, It's not like if you use like an Elmer's glue or whatever. So as you can see, the glue dries really fast because all that I did was run a strip all along these. So you can't see the bumpy glue underneath. So all I did was I went in and I put all of my numbers in. And that's it. That's all I've done so far. Oh, wait a second. What is over here? I feel like I just saw a sticker or something that I added. Oh, look. <laughs> so I added the gifts ephemera for Christmas Day. But really, that's all I've done. But I think it's I think it's super cute. It's super simple. It'll be really nice that I can add three years into this. I feel like it's very cost effective, and you know, with exp how expensive everything is these days, cost effective is super super important to me. I don't know if that's important to everyone, but it's super super important to me. Um, gas prices and food prices and all of that. So when it comes to my hobby, I'm really trying to start saving some money on that end. Um, so like I said in the previous video, I think this cover was $28.99. My whole kit, I believe, I think it was $12.99. My books in here were $10.99. So, you know, super cost effective. I got all of this. I got all of these stickers on sale. I think they were, oh, I used, I used, um, Mama of, uh, Mama of More Plants? Is that her name? Taylor? I'm not sure. I'll tag her. I'll tag her, her YouTube in this video. Um, but I used her, her PR code to get a discount on these. So, um, yeah, so it's pretty inexpensive to get all of this set up, and I'm really, really excited to start it um, next week. It's going to be fun, and as I start to load things in, I will do another video maybe halfway through or, I don't know, a few days in. You know, this video is only going to be about 10 minutes, so maybe what I'll do is every few days I'll do a new video to show everyone how I have started using it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind sharing, that would be fantastic. And I'll see you in my next video.